Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about green computing. As you'd expect, I'm going to discuss the impact of computing on the environment and how this can be reduced. However, I'm also going to explore more broadly how computer application can assist in reducing our consumption of energy and other natural resources. Information and communications technology accounts for about 2% of global carbon dioxide emissions, or roughly the same as aviation. At current electricity prices, most computer hardware now also costs more to run over its lifetime than it does to purchase in the first place. Computing manufacture additionally has a significant environmental impact. It takes about 1.8 tonnes of chemicals, fossil fuels and water to produce a typical desktop computer. Many materials currently used in building PCs are also hazardous and difficult to recycle. It is therefore not surprising that the most recent Greenpeace Guide to Greener Electronics does not give any computer manufacturer a satisfactory green ranking. The electricity used by computers can be reduced by turning off idle PCs, using lower power hardware, server virtualization, hardware as a service, and energy efficient coding. Research suggests that in the US and UK, over 20 billion kilowatts of electricity is wasted each year due to business PCs being left on overnight. This also results in over 15 million tonnes of needless CO2 emissions. In addition to turning off idle PCs, lower power hardware is now also available. Indeed, processors such as Intel's new Atom can allow a PC to consume around 30 watts compared to the 100 to 200 watts used by many desktop computers. Using a laptop also results in significant energy savings, whilst CompuLab's Fit PC uses only 5 watts. Corporate data centres can save power through server virtualization. This is where many small and underutilised physical servers are replaced with virtual servers that run as software on a few large computers. Leading the way with virtualization is IBM with its Project Big Green. This is currently consolidating 2,900 servers onto 30 mainframes to achieve an 80% energy saving. Smaller companies can achieve virtualization benefits through hardware as a service. This is where they purchase their computer processing requirements from an online facility such as Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud. Once again, this results in an optimal use of shared computing resources. Finally, electricity usage can be reduced through energy efficient coding. This saves power by writing software designed to run as quickly and efficiently as possible. Today, a great deal of software is highly inefficient with many gadgets and gizmos that slow things down and waste a lot of power. Indeed, it has been estimated that energy efficient coding could reduce the energy consumption of computers by up to 30%. When it comes to being green, computing may be both part of the problem and part of the solution. Indeed, Intel recently argued but the microprocessor can become the most energy efficient emission reducing device ever created. This is because computers can be used to increase business efficiency, to enable dematerialization, and to reduce the need for people to travel. Computers can improve business efficiency 
by enabling organisations and economies to scale in more energy and resource effective ways. For example, through better logistics coordination, empty lorries can be avoided, transportation miles reduced and energy saved. Intel indeed argues that computing has already saved more natural resources than it has consumed. Computing developments also permit resource savings through dematerialization. This is where physical products are replaced with digital downloads and web-based information services. Computer technology can also assist with travel reduction by enabling people to telework and so avoid a daily commute. Video conferencing and other online communications tools can also help to curtail longer distance travel, with some companies having already replaced their travel departments with meetings departments that facilitate virtual gatherings. Green computing is the new kid on the IT block. Shutting down idle PCs, virtualization, energy efficient coding and virtual meetings may therefore all be difficult to culturally embrace. However, with rising energy prices, increased environmental regulation and IT managers suddenly being presented with the data centre energy bill, no business can today afford to ignore the environmental impact of computing application. For more information, please see the green computing section of explainingcomputers.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.